Well hello everybody, I'm joking Giant 74 here to bring you an advanced gameplay of Modern Warfare 3. This match I won 71 and 22. This is not the first time I ever got 71 kills. This is actually the second time. Uh, and uh, you know I'm I'm happy that I achieved this this uh this goal. I mean I set it I set it up since since that time I got it the first time. And uh, you know it happened today and it was I was I was amazed and shocked, you know, and and I was like wow. You know, I finally did it again. I didn't know after the match that I that I won uh, 71 kills. I didn't check the leaderboards while I'm, I died during the game. But yeah, and here it is. The, this is the first time I got 71 kills. I won 71 and 28. And this match, I won 71 and 22. So this match, this happens to be better than the other one. You know, and uh, so yeah. And I mean, I thought I was never gonna achieve it again. Uh, and 71 kills is actually the most I ever got in Modern Warfare 3. And, uh, and uh, just to compare it from Black Ops and Modern Warfare 3, in Black Ops I won 98 kills in one match, and uh, I called in like four chopper gunners and and a lot of dogs, three dogs I think, three three times of dogs. And uh, in the advanced UAV I called it like five times. I was already going for the fifth time, but like it didn't happen. It was a domination match in that time. I was I was pretty amazed with that time too. But, like, this Modern Warfare 3 is actually different, you know. The game's actually going a lot faster, and which means that uh, the kills are less, and uh, everything's action-packed, and everything's tied in the maps. So um, there's supposed to be a lot more killings, but like there's not enough time in the stage to for like for that to happen to get achieve 98 kills. And I want to achieve that. Like I want to get over 100. I never hit the 100 mark, and uh, I also wanted to get an MOEB and. Uh, and earlier before this match, I was trying to get the MOB, you know, and uh, and, the, and the results were that uh, there was a lot of campers in the stage that I couldn't achieve it, so I went on, like, whatever, you know, I went back to support. So uh, right now, I was, like, going back to support, and this happened, you know, I was going all loud on the stage, and it was pretty good, and I was like, you know, whatever, you know, just kill this guy, kill this guy, whatever. Doing my little strategies and stuff, you know, throwing portable radars where the most people go through, you know, that's what I, that's. That's another tip right there. Like, uh, throw a portable radar where the where most of the people pass by, cause uh, it'll give a clue to 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 your allies and to your and to other people like who wants to know like who's around there and stuff like that. You know, that's that's pretty good to have portable radar as a backup, uh, as the, the the part that replaces the flash bomb. So, and the other thing that I have is Semtex. I didn't use it the whole game. I think. Well, sometimes I did, like, not, not to hit anybody, like, to maybe buy me some time after entering a hall. Like, right there, I'm buying me some time before it didn't come down. So, yeah, I use the same text, like, to buy me some time. That's another way, like, to like to go down the hallway. Just throw in the same text on the, like, in the opposite side of the hallway and just run to it or run uh, away from it. And uh, you buy yourself something, like, three seconds or something like that. So, yeah. The weapon that I used was the P90 with suppressor and uh, range you know and uh, the perks that I have are uh, Slat of Hand Pro, Assassin Pro and Stalker Pro. The reason I have Stalker Pro, you know I already explained it in the first couple of videos that I made the reason that I have Stalker Pro is because uh, every time you move forward the bullets has actually make a lot more damage than moving back so yeah that's why I recommend Stalker Pro and Assassin Pro you know once you get Assassin Pro you can be invisible which, which makes a uh, uh, blind that you uh, useless and uh, what a what a thing um, and uh, the other one that the one that makes your, your footstep uh, quieter you know you don't really need that you know it's assassin pro can can like make all those other ones look like a like a new thing you know and uh, that's why I recommend assassin pro slide of hand pro you know all the guns reload real slow I recommend to have slide of hand pro as you can see here in the video. I, I was reloading a lot of times because every time I kill somebody, you know, the bullets already ending and I had to reload the, the mag a lot of times. And I gotta reload like every time after I kill somebody so, so I can kill the next person who's coming down the stairs or, or down the hall, you know. You gotta be quick on your feet and stuff like that too. That's why I'm using a submachine gun instead of a assault rifle because assault rifles actually slow you down. But like, it's up, your, it's up to you like to, to use whatever weapon you have there. But as long as it doesn't slow you down, it's pretty good. You know, in Black Ops, I used the AK-74 U, and uh, it was pretty great. I moved around real quick. So yeah, that's why I wanted to bring it over here to Modern Warfare 3. You know, I wanted a fast weapon, I want a weapon who, like, which, uh, 
which I can like run around real quick with. And uh, it happened and the P90 stepped up here, you know. The P90 is actually a great weapon. I got killed by this gun like in the beginning of the like in the beginning of the game. Like when it got released, uh, everybody used the P90 and I was wondering why is everybody using the P90? You know, and I really got killed like by the P90 real quick and I after I used the P90, you know, I got used to it. And uh, the, the bullets go actually travel fast, even though it doesn't have rapid fire. You don't you don't really need rapid fire in this gun. And uh, yeah, it takes a lot of damage too. You know, it feels again that that it feels like the AK-74U again. So I'm happy that <laughs> that I, I found a gun that's actually like that. So yeah. So about the backup weapon, I actually found out that the MP9 is a lot better than the FM9. Because the FM9, when you shoot it, uh, it's actually inaccurate and uh, it trembles a lot. And also, with it, when you use it with the Kimbles, it trembles a lot and it doesn't kill anybody. I think it's, it was because of the update that uh, make the FM9s a lot more cheaper and a lot more like, like really like unuseful. And uh, it's really inaccurate now. And you know now, and the MP9 is actually accurate when it's single. And it's, a, and it's still good even though it has a suppressor, you know, it still shoots strong and stuff like that. And uh, also the Scorpion, uh, I've started to use the Scorpion and MP9. The both of them are good, both of them are accurate, they don't shake as much. And uh, it's, it's pretty awesome. Now I, I can use my backup weapon, you know, as a, as a primary weapon, you know. The both, it feels like it has like another primary weapon when I use the MP9 and the Scorpion. You know, the Scorpion was actually a primary weapon in the Black Ops. So I'm always thinking like, how can I use this gun, you know? And uh, also, what what gave me more like clue that the MP9 and the Scorpion was better than the than the FM9 was when I used it in Special Ops. You know, I was killing the computer like like nothing in Special Ops, and um, I was wondering like, why is this gun like not shaking as much, you know? And I was getting a lot more accurate kills, and, and I wanted to use it in online, and it resulted like it's actually a good gun. It feels like it's a primary weapon. So yeah, I recommend uh, choosing either the, the FM9 or the Scorpion. But I, don't, I haven't tried it on the Kimball. I was like, I'll tell you later on in some f future videos, like how does it feel with, when it's a Kimball, both the Scorpion and the MP9, and I'll give you my opinions about that later. So yeah, this is the new like thing that I found out: the Scorpion and the MP9 are a lot better than the FM9s. So yeah, but uh, so now I'm gonna I'm going to give you a, a little bit of clan news. Uh, the clan ops have been cancelled uh, for two weeks I think or more because of a lot of boosting you know this is what happens in the elite uh, everybody's boosting the hell out of it of all the tournaments even the, the lone wolf operations they're all being boosted the hell out you know they people need to stop this I mean come on you're really kidding the game everybody paid the 50 bucks to win the tournament I mean and uh, everybody paid the 50 bucks to, to unlock the maps too you know and don't get me started with the map, man. They're, they're the Camper's Dreams map. And the, especially that park one. I mean, oh, I just can't believe why did they even make these maps, man. They should have brought an old map, like the one with the little warehouse, you know. And uh, from uh, Call of Duty 4, the little warehouse, the one where you have to jump in with a, in, on a trash can to get inside the window. That one, and uh, what's the other one? The one with this, it has like a single building that you can climb up all the way up and uh, there's only one that you can snipe from there and stuff like that you know bring back old maps not nah, don't bring this cheap map where every every camper wants to play this map because you know you can snipe you can uh, you know do stuff like that and it's just really like it was really like not like not cool at all and I expect I expected more from Elite and apparently it's been going very bad and uh, you know, the tournaments are boosted, the, the maps are bad, I mean, there's no way this is getting better at all, I mean, I'm thinking, like, I'm not gonna buy the next Call of Duty, because, because of this, uh, you know, false advertisement, false, false stuff like this, you know, so yeah, I'll stick to Modern Warfare 3, as you can see here, I got the last kill, and it was kind of a suicide mission, because, uh, I caught in the stealth bomber on top of me, it was kind of, uh, kind of Kamikaze moment right there. Well, that's all for now. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, visit the websites for more videos and tips, and visit the forums, and uh, make a profile so you can get daily tips. Thank you.